so this video is gonna be about updating high pressure fuel pump on the this common size 6 uh, 2350 so first thing I'm gonna have to relieve release this screw on the fuel rail so I make sure that the, uh, there is no any pressure in the system okay so I I release this one and make sure no pressure in the system and I can put it back now uh, so no any dirt gonna get back in the line the pressure is of the fuel rail now uh, this is the other end of the fuel pump fuel rail outlet um, and I have to disconnect this banjo bolts um, this is the head drain and Then I have to disconnect, disconnect the, that plug. Okay, so I remove this line, disconnected. Uh, this one banjo bolt. This is 17 millimeter socket. And, um, and this one is um, 19 millimeter socket. And I have to remove uh, 12 points bolts. One, two right there, three, and one in the back. So I have four uh, 12 points, 10 millimeter socket bolts, and the head will come off. Okay, so the head is off, and uh, inside you see two tappets. I'm gonna take them out now. Okay, I have a new part number for this tappet. It's 4359134. This is the old tappet with the brass bushing, and this is the new one with the diamond coat. It's called diamond coat, you know. It's like hardened steel and it's it has it can be disassembled so I can I can just put the pin back the old one needs to be pressed out but comments uh, do not use this anymore so this is the old one and we don't use it and this is the new one okay this tappet, it has groove right here and this groove has to go in the pump body in the same orientation on the other side as you see no groove so this groove so this gonna have to be facing that way and also um, as you see in the mirror, there is a little pin over there, so that pin has to be straight up, otherwise if you turn it sideways, uh, the top is not gonna go in, in that groove and it might stuck and it, it might damage the pump, so when putting those uh, tappets in this pin needs to be aligned with the groove and same thing uh, on the other side also uh, inspect the cam if no pitting you know or any big scratches this cam looks good so uh, you see pins but you can turn them freely with a with a finger. Now I'm gonna put some grease on these, and I'm gonna put in the pump body. 
Okay, so I put those tappets inside and um, now I'm just gonna move the finger. Make sure it won't rotate. That means it's it's in the groove, the pin. Otherwise it would rotate, rotate and would not uh, fully sit in the pump. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, inspect the fuel pump head. Okay, this is uh, fuel head, fuel pump head, uh, barrel and, and plunger assembly. It goes in the kit, and this is part number for Cummins 2350. Uh, do not put this on 2250. It's gonna be different part number for the bar and plunger tap it goes the same for the oil pumps but this for the 2250 have uh, different groove different thread here and and you can see that this got yellow o-ring and the plunger and barrel assembly for 2250 has brown o-ring so if you mix these parts on these engines uh, the fuel and oil can mix and it might be a problem with the pump. Now as you see this plunger in one end is flat and the other end is not flat. This has to go um, in the barrel like that do not put like this because also gonna be damaged and do not mix this with another barrel because this these are exactly machine this plunger is exactly machine with this barrel this is the wall actually this is the old barrel and, and plunger assembly I took out actually yeah it goes like this and then the spring goes on top. Okay, this picture, actually this paper was together with a replacement kit. It shows how to do the procedure on the pump head. Basically what I did, I put the head in the vise and I took big wrench and put pipe on it because those have big torque on those barrels and unscrew them. Then I flip it in the vise and put the new barrel and plunger uh, from the bottom because it has a washer seal. Uh, it has to be aligned correctly. And then it says torque it to 60 foot pounds each each barrel and after that rotate 60 degrees so i torque it 60 60 foot pounds and then i mark with a marker on the screw and on the on the head and this one flat is 60 degrees and that's it this is how i did the head Okay, this is pump head, already installed, plungers and barrels, and this is part number for the head gasket, I'm gonna install a new one. Okay, I put back head, and I'm gonna torque it with a torque wrench, 50 pounds of torque on those four bolts. Okay, on the fuel rail nut, 35 put, foot pounds, and on this fuel rail nut, also 35 foot pounds with the torque branch. Okay, so everything is back in the place. Uh, 
the fuel lines are connected this and this and also I connect actuator wiring harness so it will be ready to start the truck and check how it's working now I started the engine and I inspected no leaks on the fuel lines. 